Hello, in this video we're going to go over the problem of finding all positive rational numbers x and y for which x to the y is equal to y to the x. The first thing you do is you realize that x equals y is always a solution. Now, the rest of this is going to have like a really slick solution, but I will explain that. So what we do is we're going to assume that perhaps y is more than x and by symmetry you can find all the solutions that x is more than y. So now assume that y is more than x. So there's really no way you can f uh, find x in terms of y or y in terms of x because if you take the natural log of both sides you're gonna not be able to isolate x but if you take y equals t times x then you're able to isolate the two variables. Here because x and y are rational t would also be rational. So let's plug that in and see what we get we get x to the power of tx is equal to tx to the power of x. Take the x out from the exponent, we get x to the power of t is equal to tx. Divide by x, we get x to the power of t minus 1 is equal to t. So let's write down x in terms of t. We get t to the power of 1 over uh, t minus 1. And we know that this is rational. Okay, so now let's say t is equal to a over b with a and b positive integers and relatively prime. So what I know is if I take the, if I evaluate t to the power of 1 over 1 uh, t minus 1, that would have to be rational. So this would be a over b to the power of 1 over a over b minus 1. This is a over b raised to the power of b over a minus b. I also know that t is more than 1, so that might help at some point, because um, y was t times x. Okay, so we get to that, and we know that this is rational. Now, what we know is a and b are relatively prime. So a and b are relatively prime, so GCD of a and b is 1. That tells us that b and a minus b also do not have any common factors. So these two do not have any common factors. Since a over b raised to that power is rational, a must be a minus b th power and b must be also an a minus b th power. Okay, and again what we know is GCD of a and b is 1 and I also know that a is more than b. Now, if you take the difference of these two, you would get m to the power of a minus b minus n to the power of a minus b is equal to a minus b. There seems to, there seems to be something wrong with this equality because powers do not differ by such small numbers. So if you look at something squared minus another thing squared, the difference can't really be 2. So if you have x squared minus y squared equals 2, the difference of squares can't really be 2 unless for possibly smaller va small values. So the difference of x cubed and y cubed doesn't seem to be 3 because if you like write down the, the uh, cubes of numbers, they become farther and farther away from each other. So we're going to use that idea. Okay, so if a minus b is equal to 1, then that's possible. Uh, let's see what happens if a minus b is more than 1. If a minus b is at least 2, then m to the power of a minus b minus n to the power of a minus b is going to be at least <clears throat> okay so I'm going to replace m by n plus 1 if you expand this one you get n to the power of a minus b plus a minus b n to the power of a minus b minus 1 all the way to 1 if you do the binomial theorem minus n to the power of a minus b this is greater than or equal to this term is at least a minus b. The last term and the first term cancel and the last term in the binomial is going to be 1 which is more than a minus b. So that means m to the power of a minus b minus n to the power of a, a minus b can't be equal to a minus b. Therefore it must be 1. Therefore a minus b must be 1. Okay so this is nice because then you can write down a as b plus 1 which means t is going to be, t was a over b, so that's going to be b plus 1 over b, and b is a positive integer. Okay, so this is good. So now let's see what x was. x was, if we go back and look at what x was, we found that x was t to the power of 1 over t minus 1. 
So that is t to the power of 1 over t minus 1, which is b plus 1 over b raised to the power of 1 over t minus 1. t minus 1 is 1 over b, so 1 over that is b. So x is this, and y is equal to t times x, which is b plus 1 over b raised to the power of b plus 1. So the answer to the problem is this. Either x equals y and they are both rational, or x equals b plus 1 over b to the power of b, y equals b plus 1 over b to the power of b plus 1, and b is a positive integer, or the other way around. x is equal to b plus 1 over b to the power of b plus 1, y is equal to b plus 1 over b to the power of b, and b is a positive integer. Of course, we have to check that these, this pair is a solution to the given equation. If you, and that's pretty easy to check. If you raise x to the power of y, you would get b plus 1 over b to the power of b plus 1 on the top. So that gives you b plus 1 over b raised to the power of b plus 1 to the power of b plus 1 over b to the power of b. And if you do b plus 1 over b to the b plus 1, this is y, raised to the power of x, b plus 1 over b to the power of b, you would get b plus 1 over b. The exponent becomes the product of these two, which would be b plus 1 to the power of b plus 1 over b to the b. So in fact, these are all uh, solutions to the equation. If you like this video, you would like other videos on my channel, make sure to check those out. If you have any suggestions or problems, feel free to send me an email at mathcompetitioncoach at gmail.com and I will see you in another video.